Today I have a really exciting fountain pen for you. So this is the Waldman, should flip it around, <laughs> Extra Vienna fountain pen. Out of the three Waldmans that I've reviewed, this is by far my favorite. Um, ironically, not the most expensive of the three that I've reviewed, but I really love this pen. First of all, it comes in this amazing and awesome gift box. I will tell you, um, spoiler, <laughs> spoiler alert, that this is more of a feminine fountain pen. So not the only reason I love it, but one of the main reasons, and you'll see when I unbox it. Uh, this would be a great gift for any woman in your life that you've really wanted to get into fountain pens because it is exciting. Hand engraved, and I haven't seen this type of engraving in a fountain pen yet at this quality on anything that I've reviewed. It, it blows me away. So I'm gonna get to showing you that right now. Okay, so when you unbox it, so it's a huge, way oversized gift box by the way um, and that's to reveal I'm gonna try not to bend or break the box for you but that's to reveal this huge oversized gift box so I like how they have wrapped it in kind of this little bit of tissue paper and some protective um, kind of like a really thin I guess it'd be like a bubble wrap without bubbles um, let me show you without damaging anything, the box. So it looks like kind of, I would guess that's called rosewood, I'm not real sure, but I really love that it has a little push button to latch and unlatch it before you can see. Um, little uh, brass or gold colored hinges there match the little gold tone button. And I really like that it doesn't open until you little press the little box or press the little button. Um, one thing, this box in itself is impressive, but also when you see the pen for the first time, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'd like to point out that all of that engraving is hand engraved. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, the inside of the box is a white um, leatherette, so it really, really shows off this amazing pen uh, even better, white on white. And if you go underneath it, it comes with your standard Waldman warranty card and then also the Waldman silver polishing cloth and mine came with a set of uh, five Waldman cartridges. I will tell you that um, although the pen is my favorite, their ink, the blue color at least, is really not my favorite. Um, it's a little bit, I don't know if the word that I'm looking for is less saturated, but it's not as deep of a blue as I like to use. One of my favorites, it's been my favorite for years, is uh, Diamine uh, Sargasso Seek. And that one's a really kind of deep navy, almost blackish blue, like a, I guess it would be a blue black. Um, and that's really my favorite. So, sorry, I'm messing with that. So I just, I can't get over this. So if you look at that, I mean, I've never seen any engraving like that. And when, um, when I looked into it with the manufacturer, found out that that is all hand engraved. And they have a master engraver that can do up to eight to 10 days, or I'm sorry, eight to 10 pens a day with this engraving. I mean, just imagine owning something that someone spent their time hand engraving and the quality and the intricacy of the engraving is, is just amazing. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, I do also like the white enamel finish over the solid 925 sterling silver barrel. It's just a really classy looking pen and it's eye catching, like you can't help yourself but wonder, you know, is this pen uh, super expensive? How was that engraving done? Because the enamel is chipped off to reveal this 925 solid sterling silver, I mean it's just extremely shiny and gorgeous and some of the lines that they engraved are kind of filigreed through it's not just a straight line so it's it's really an amazing feat of the engraver and this one on the cat band says waldman made in germany it's a really thin little cat band at the blind cap here it's pretty simple no engraving no engraving and a spring-loaded clip sorry this one's a little um a little flexible there you can you can uh, definitely use that clip it's not stu super stiff um, and not super tough either. So I really, again, love the engraving. You'll never see anything like that. And it really um, makes my heart beat a little faster when I open that up in the box. So um, it does post, which I like. All of the Waldmans that I've tried, by the way, do post. Um, it has a little indent on the back to where you can stick that cap on and it all makes one piece. It has a um, smallish kind of nib there. This one that I'm reviewing is a broad. It does stay 
stuck on there you can feel it when you push it on that you're gonna have to kind of pull it off really hard and leave it on uh, or leave it on to, to post um, because it's enamel finished on the barrel and on the cap when you use it posted it doesn't feel as much I guess as top heavy as some of the other pins because there's also weight in the base and that helps counter the weight that's more toward the back of the uh, cap so I didn't have a problem writing posted even though it is a bit heavy um, you'd probably be more comfortable writing non posted but I didn't have any issues writing posted with this particular pen just because the weight is distributed pretty well and there's extra weight from that really thickish um, really thickish lacquer and you can see that it's a little thinner on the cap there and it gets thicker on the barrel so um, it doesn't have the typical flare that I liked of the other two Waldmans that keep your hands from sliding down onto the nib itself but it does have a little smooth area that's very comfortable and enough room for my thumb and forefinger to not hit the threads so it's a super comfortable pen like I said it posts very well and next we'll take care of the writing sample so that you can see what this beauty looks like when you write with it. But again, if you're trying to get someone in your life who happens to be a woman or likes feminine design, this would be the pen to do it. It's gorgeous. All right, so on to the writing sample of the Waldman Extra Vienna Fountain Pen. So this is a beautiful fountain pen and the writing sample that we're going to see is of the broad nib. And that was the writing sample of the Waldman Extra Vienna Fountain Pen in white over a solid serine silver with a broad nib.